Hi everyone, and welcome to episode number 34 of Perfect Inspiration. My name is Brian Matias. So this is actually part two from last week. We're continuing from episode number 33, where I was with my colleague Candace Christensen, and we worked on uh, images of her daughter Anna, which I have here. Now, what I want to do is um, build a greeting card. And that's kind of something that uh, I think is really important. And it's not so much the greeting card that's important. It's the thought, the sentiment, and the time that you put into it that I really find uh, speaks volumes. Um, I, I get, you know, every now and then for my birthday or for a holiday, I'll get a card from someone. And it's uh, pretty much 100% of the time something that's store bought. Now, nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to say anything's wrong with that. But for me, um, you know, as a kind of a creative, as a photographer, I find that if I can do something that's personal, um, it means that much more. So let's build the card using uh, these four images that we created. And uh, we have a background here, a kind of a festive background, and some word art. Uh, and uh, these are the downloadable content for this episode. So I'm going to start by going to the File menu and then clicking New because we're going to create a new template. Now the card that I'm going to print uh, is going to be uh, 5 by 7 so I'm going to go to the preset here and I'm going to select 5 by 7 Now the width is 5 which I don't want, I actually want it to be a horizontal card so I'm just going to click on the flip icon uh, and then I'm going to change this to holiday card and uh, we'll go with the 16 bit depth and everything else looks good so I'm going to click OK Now here's my blank template I'm going to zoom out a bit so we can see it here and the first thing that I want to do is add the background. So I'm going to double click here and I'm going to click add. Background fits nicely, everything looks great. All right, now we're going to design the front of the card. So for the front of the card, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this first image of Anna uh, and I'm going to click add to apply it on its own layer. And you can see here it is, it takes up the whole layer. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is resize it. To do that, I'm going to take the transform tool and I'm going to zoom out until we see the handlebars. So there we are. Now I'm going to press and hold the shift key and drag upward. And I'm going to make uh, the image fit about here. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to click apply. If I need to resize it um, or move it around I can do it again after the fact. Now I want to add this word art that we have here. Now this is just something that we're including. It's something that one of our designers built. So I'm going to double click it and click add. And you can see here it is. Now just like before, I'm going to take the transform tool and I'm going to press shift while dragging down to resize it. I'm going to make it kind of smallish so it fits right here. Now I'm going to click apply to commit that. And you can see that uh, the text kind of gets lost uh, on the background. Well there's actually a really cool way to add a, kind of a solid color behind uh, the text so it stands out. And here's how we're going to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the um, text layer is selected and then I'm going to click fill for a color fill layer. And I'm going to stick with the default color of white at 100% and I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that because this white layer is at the very top it covers everything. So I'm going to take that transform tool and I'm just going to shrink this down uh, right around here. So it's around the bottom of the image. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, well first I'll click apply to commit that and I'm going to take the uh, text layer and bring it on top. Now with that done I'm going to go back to that color fill layer and I'm going to adjust the opacity. So you can see now that we have this really nice kind of festive uh, candy cane thing going on with this nice um, kind of soft white background. And if I want I can go back to that text layer. I can take the transform tool and I can make it a little bit larger just so it takes up a bit more space and I'll bring it down here and then click apply. Now I can also go back to the image layer go to the transform tool and bring that up a bit and then click apply. So now what we've done is we've created our um, card. One of the things I can also do is watch this. I'm going to bring the image to the top. I'm going to go to the extras tab on the top left of the file browser and I'm going to go to the borders and then I'm going to go to the simple borders. Now with that done I'm going to select the black square key line. I'm going to double click it and click add. Now I just need to zoom out until I see the border. I'm going to go to the transform tool and you can see here are the, uh, the border handles. I'm going to again press shift and then bring it down so that we start to get it in the window. Now I can zoom back in here 
and position it accordingly. So it's really up to you how, um, how much of the border you want on your image. I'm just gonna stick it over here, right around there. And there we go, so it's a nice, uh, really cool border. And again, we have a bunch of other borders in different categories, so you can choose the one you want. Um, if you want other ones, by all means, uh, it's very easy to apply them. Uh, you can also go into Perfect Effects uh, to apply some uh, borders to that image layer as well. You know, the possibilities are really endless. Now what we're gonna do though is save this. So this is the front of our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to File, Save As, and I'm just gonna call this um, Holiday Card front and I'll put it on my desktop. All right, now we're ready to build the inside of the card. I'm gonna start by deleting everything except for the bottom two layers. So I'm just gonna select these three. Actually, let me select that and then shift click down there and then click delete. Now I'm gonna click on the browser and I'm gonna start adding these images. I'll click on the first one and then click add. Now I'm gonna zoom out and then go to the transform tool again, and then press shift and drag this down so that it fits the window. So I'm gonna do it about here, uh, and then I'm gonna click apply, and repeat the process with the remaining two images. Now I'm gonna put the image over here on top of the original image uh, that we have, just so I can help uh, get it to the same size. Okay, let's click apply, and then one more time. Now you can see that we uh, are gonna go and realign uh, everything, so I'm gonna click apply here, and then move from layer to layer. So I'm gonna bring this one and bring that over more. Same thing with the middle one. And remember, every time you transform, you have to click apply to commit that. So go here, bring that over, and then finally click apply. And the third one, let's just align that. And so I'm not gonna spend too much time getting the perfect alignment. What I wanna do is uh, finish things up to show you. So let's go ahead here, let's zoom in a bit. Uh, and then next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add a border around this all three images at once. So I'm gonna go ahead to the uh, extras and then I'm gonna add that same border that we just applied. Uh, I'm gonna click, uh, double click on it and then click add. And just like before, let's zoom out and go to the transform tool and let's resize it so that it appears uh, on the image. All right, so once we get to that point where this is sized properly to however you want it, there's one thing I want you to know, uh, or at least notice. You see how that uh, the border in between the images, there is uh, just a gap, which I don't like. Well, we can actually uh, do something similar with um, what we did with the text layer, and that's add a color fill. So what I want to do is add a white color fill in between the background and the images. So I'm gonna go to the background layer and click fill. I'm gonna again select uh, the white at 100% and I'm gonna go to the transform tool and then drag it so that it sits behind the border. And now you can see how we have this really nice white border and just like before we'll click apply and I'm gonna drop that opacity so we can have a little bit of the background come through and it also helps you see if there's any uh, uneven spacing. So I can go to this uh, middle image here and just drag that over just a bit so that we have an even spacing. And there you go. Uh, we can go ahead, select file, save as. We'll call this one holiday card back. And don't forget if uh, you wanna output these as JPEGs or TIFFs instead of PSDs, you can go to file, save as, and then just drop down the file type. Uh, if you're going to upload it to, say, MPix, uh, you can upload the JPEG right there for the front and the inside. And uh, that's how easy it was. We used uh, the images that we processed last week. Um, we had a consistent look with the batch processing. And then using a background that you can download yourself and some word art, we were able to create a really festive, cool-looking, and most important, personal 
card that we can give to our family and friends. So I hope this helps uh, spur your creativity for the holiday season, and I look forward to seeing you next week for episode number 35.